Welcome back to Studio B. I am Spencer. He is Jerem. Let's roll out your Monday headlines. Number 22, men's basketball. Maybe they'll move up here in a couple hours. Who knows? Beat West Virginia 86-73 on the road in Morgantown on Saturday thanks to a season-high 24 points from Foos, who started in the place of Ali Khalifa, who didn't travel with the team due to illness, undetermined whether he'll play at Oklahoma. Dallin Hall had a career-high 12 assists and only one turnover. They're still booing him. It moved. <laughs> BYU improves to 16-5 and five overall, 4-4 four and four in the Big 12 with the win. Cougars are number seven in the net, number nine in Kenpon. Up next, at number 22, Oklahoma, likely to fall out of the top 25. Tomorrow night, BYU women's basketball rallies late, but falls short in a 76-69 loss to 23rd-ranked West Virginia at the Marriott Center on Saturday. BYU trailed by 14 at halftime, cut the Mountaineers' lead to four in the second half, but couldn't climb the mountain all the way, no pun intended. Yeah. West Virginia forced why, 23. Why not intend it? It, it wasn't intended. Just intended. It was just incidental. I think you should intend it. Okay, I'll try and be more <laughs> Be more aware. intentional. I'll be more aware and intentional. Intentional. <laughs> Turnovers are a stat that continue to haunt BYU. Yeah. 23 on Saturday. It led to 29 Mountaineer points. BYU star forward Lauren Gustin led BYU with another double-double. 16 points, 14 rebounds. Ho-hum, doing her thing. BYU falls to 12 and 11 overall, overall, 2 and 8 in the Big 12. Up next, 13th ranked Baylor at the Marriott Center on Wednesday. Luckily, it eased it up. Oh, eased it up. Oh, wait. BYU alums Connor Mance and Clayton Young finished first and second in the U.S. Olympic trials in the marathon, qualifying for the Summer Games in Paris. Fantastic. Well done by those two. Super nice that Dilji and Ed are going to fund our trip to Paris so that we can cover I that. I cannot adequate. wait. That is so nice of them. To eat what they just call <laughs> bread. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be amazing to be in Paris to watch Jimmer, Paris, and runners. BYU Gymnastics. Work your KSL connection, bro. I'll, I'll do my best. BYU Gymnastics in a match called by Jerem Jordan. Scored a season high 196.475 in their home opener against West Virginia. Highlighted by Sophie Dudley and Sydney Benson scoring yeah. nine nines on the floor. Awesome. Great finish. Mina Margraf had a 9875 on beam. Lindsay Hunter Kempler and Anna Bramlett's 9875s on the bars. Kylie Aquinto with a 9825 on the vault. Great scores all around. Easily their best meet of the year. Up next for BYU is a road match at one of the powerhouses in all of sport, Oklahoma Gymnastics on Friday. It's the fewest amount of words in the two hour span I've spoken since I was one years old. Mikkel Merkley does an amazing She's job. She's amazing. She, she's a play-by-play -play and analyst on that. <laughs> Men's tennis sweeps Montana State 7-0, second consecutive home sweep. You're now 3-3 three three on the year. Up next, doubleheader at UC Riverside on Friday. Women's tennis beat Utah State 5-2 on Saturday for their fourth straight win to begin the season. The win marks the first 4-0 start for the Cougars since 2021. When the team opened the season 5-0, up next, a road match at Utah on Friday. Underrated team, BYU women's tennis. Men and women's divers competed over the weekend at the Air Force Diving Invitational. Alexia Jackson highlighted the weekend. Two event wins, broke her own school record again in the platform event. And women's golf opening their spring season today at the FAU Paradise Invitational in Boca Raton, Florida. Boca Raton sounds magical in February, doesn't it? It was magical in December of indeed 2020. It, indeed it was. Yeah. <laughs>